हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मयूर सहायता एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पैथोलॉजिकल कैल्सिफिकेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज फिजियोलॉजिकल कैल्सिफिकेशन सो व्हेन द कैल्शियम इज डिपॉजिटेड इनटू आवर बोन्स एज वेल एज इन आवर एनिमल दैट इज नोन एज द फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड अदर देन दीज साइट्स मींस calcium salts deposition into other than osteoid and enamel is known as the pathological calcification this calcification actually they divide into the two parts means if the calcium is deposited into the dead tissue then it is known as the dystrophic calcification and if the calcium is deposited into a normal tissue a live tissue then it is known as the metastatic calcification so this d for d dead degenerated tissue dystrophic m for m that is metastatic which is occurs because of metabolic abnormality which is mostly there is a hypercalcemia is there then and then this calcium salts are deposited into the normal tissue and form the calcification which is known as the metastatic calcification now histologically if we do the hni staining of this uh, calcium then this calcium salts appear uh, basophilic because calcium itself a basophilic ion and it looks like a clump like material situated into the tissue but what are the sites or you can say where this dystrophic calcification occurs so we'll take the example of the dead tissue and the degenerated tissues where these uh, uh, dystrophic calcification occur the most common uh, tuberculosis tuberculosis mostly occurs pulmonary into the lungs it produces the caseous necrosis and then these in these caseous necrosis the calcium salts deposited and uh, it forms the you can say a tubercle like structure it also uh, deposited into the hilar lymph nodes and uh, uh, that lymph node also calcifies as well as lung alveolus also calcified in case of the tb another abscess cavity pus accumulation surrounded by the epithelium which is known as the abscess in which there is a one type of a liquefactive or necrosis is there there is a fight between our uh, wbcs and the bacteria or virus and in this abscess there is a deposition of the calcium salts and these abscesses gets calcified then into the pancreatitis in case of acute pancreatitis there is a fat a necrosis is there and these calciums uh, forms or they combine with the uh, fatty acids and form the calcium soaps or you can say saponification of that part occurs for the example in case of the chronic venous congestion in which you can easily say that the venous blood is uh, not going forward and uh, uh, it is a uh, stagnate there and the calcium uh, salts are deposited into there and calcium deposits occurs in case of the infarcts just like into the infarct kidney uh, the calcification can occur in case of the thrombi there is a platelet plug is there and the calcium is deposited inside and producing uh, flavolites is also known as the flavolites it's a uh, you can say stone inside the vessels as well as uh, in uh, dead parasites like in uh, hydrated cyst this calcification can occur echinococcus granulosus which loves the liver and it produces a cyst like structure over there endocyst ectocysts and over that calcification can occur important cancer breast cancer in which there is a, a microcalcification macrocalcification can occur which we identify into the mammography in case of toxoplasma toxoplasma gondii parasite which is uh, loves the brain tissue and uh, this calcium salts deposit into the uh, parasites that is also uh, producing a uh, white scary lesions into the brain as well as a uh, uh, degenerated tissue in which the calcification can occur they are uh, our uh, old scars when we get a uh, damaged and the fibrous tissues deposited and the scar is there then calcium can uh, uh, deposited into there in case of the aorta inside the aorta atheromas are there and uh, calcium can deposited over there then monkbox sclerosis in which there is a tunica media mostly into the muscular artery 
in the artery having the three legal layers tunica intima media advantasia into the media this calcium salts can deposited and it results into the calcification and the elasticity of these arteries are lost what is the exit pathogenesis of dystrophic calcification why these calciums deposited into the dead and degenerative tissue then we must understand that into the dead and degenerative tissue there is a denatured protein is there and this denatured protein having a high amount of a phosphate and these phosphate combines with the calcium and form the calcium of phosphate and these calcium phosphates are forming a dystrophic calcification mostly these uh, calcium of phosphate starts deposition into the mitochondria then it goes uh, intracellularly other sites as well as extracellularly this calcium phosphate can also be deposited now what is metastatic calcification we have just understood that metastatic m4 m metabolic errors now what are these metabolic errors so we must understand hyperparathyroidism because this parathyroid hormone is responsible for increasing the blood calcium level so this parathyroid hormone goes into the bone as well as into the intestine as well as into the kidney from everywhere they start increasing calcium absorption calcium uh, uh, breakdown from the bone and increase into the blood and so that there is a hypercalcemia is there and if there is a hypercalcemia this calcium deposits into the different sites bone destructive lesions bone cancers multiple myeloma metastatic carcinoma in which also calcium is broken down and increased in its concentration into the blood even a prolonged immobilization of the patients because uh, it leads to the atrophy of the tissue bones and then this calcium also increased into the blood as this calcium increased into the blood it will deposited into the many tissues as well as hypervitaminosis d because vitamin d is responsible for calcium absorption from the intestine as well as the kidney milk alkali syndrome in which there is excessive oral intake of a milk and so that it also contains a high amount of a calcium it then this calcium is increased into the blood hypercalcemia of the infancy so in these all conditions the calcium is increased into the blood so what are the favorite sites for this calcium to be deposited so first site kidney as usual and which produce our uh, most common disease renal stone nephrocalcinosis and these calciums are deposited into the renal pelvis they can deposited into the lung alveolar they can be deposited into the stomach as uh, especially into the acid secreting glands in the blood vessels and will produce a, a, it will a, a reduce the elasticity of the tunica intima into the cornea into the joint cavity into the synovium this can also be deposited so that uh, these calcium actually they also forming the calcium phosphate most common form of the uh, metastatic calcification is a calcium uh, phosphates so that's how we have understand the uh, dystrophic calcification and the metastatic calcification let's revise fast